when I first uh, became chairman, the Trade and Business Licensing Board was under the umbrella of the Immigration Department. Since then, we have become part of the Department of Commerce and Investment. And one of the advantages of this is that we have a more concentrated effort on the licensing procedure and we have staff that back us up at all the processes. Well, I think that uh, the trade and business licensing is, is now um, squarely in the right department. Um, I think, and mainly because, uh, primarily because we at the Department of Commerce, one of the things that we do is we, we support small businesses uh, and, and, and also uh, existing businesses that operate in the Cayman Islands. And as you're aware, in the Cayman Islands, in order to operate a business, you need to, to have a trade and business license. There are some exemptions, for example, uh, banks that operate in the Cayman Islands, we, or they don't require uh, a license from us. They are licensed and regulated uh, through the Cayman Islands Monetary Authority. So there are some exceptions. But by and large, uh, the small businesses certainly, uh, so beauty salons, uh, restaurants, uh, things of that nature, uh, gas stations, they require a trade and business license. When we first uh, were appointed as a board, we, we were meeting weekly and sometimes more than once a week to catch up with the backlog. Uh, now that we're caught up, we meet every other Tuesday at 10 a.m. in the offices of the Department of Commerce and Investment. What we typically do is there's an agenda set out by the board secretary and the agenda is split into two new grants and renewals. By moving across the trade and business license from immigration to DCI, it has streamlined the process um, and it has made the process faster. What we're able to do is concentrate more on trade and business license and now applications are processed faster by the board. Currently there is no backlog at trade and business license. When we took over, there was about a three months backlog. So we are pretty much up to date with everything. If you were to submit an application today, within two weeks time, you could get your application back. We have changed the process up. We are, have cut down the paperwork a lot. Um, now the board just sees the application with whatever supporting documents there is. So the board is able to move faster and go through the paperwork faster. And that has therefore increased efficiency by at least 40 to 60%. The forms are available online at dci.gov.ky. You fill the forms out and you send it in with the application fee and the information that is requested on the forms. It comes in the trade and business license. We prepare a receipt and we mail the receipt out to you. And then the information is listed on the application and it's listed into the computerized system. And then it's processed by the board every other Tuesday. I feel that trade and business is, um, department is, is much quicker now. Um, because they're by themselves, um, they're able, I think, to, to deal with you quickly. Um, with your payments instead of having to do another immigration uh, payment. You're dealing just with everything you have for the trade and business department. So that's, um, that's helped a lot. And then um, when the applications itself used to take um, a, two or three months, it's now sometimes we get that within um, two to four weeks the application can be dealt with. So we have seen a significant um, change. The website's updated um, very quickly also. So. Um, I think that's been a, a tremendous success um, with the changeover. It's very important that businesses inform the trade and business license department when they are closing because it remains in our books as a liability. We see funds due from the businesses and we are spending resources trying to track the businesses down to tell them to come in and pay it when in reality the businesses no longer exist. It's also very important that customers pay their fees on time as it takes a lot of resources up to track and follow customers. So it's very important that customers follow up with us. In the near future, we're hoping to have an email system whereby an emails will be sent out to customers reminding them that their trade and business license are coming up for, for payment in one month's time. 